The most important thing to do first thing in the morning is get yourself in a powerful state. If you're in a great mood, you will produce great results. You will have a great day. The better your attitude, the better the results you produce. The better your attitude, the better you can handle, overcome, and thrive through challenges and difficulties that come your way. So get yourself in a great mood. Do whatever it takes to get that feeling first thing in the morning. Whatever works for you, meditation, reading, gratitude, music, exercise, these are all good options that get you in state. When your mind is positive and clear, you can handle just about anything, can't you? And when you can face challenges with a clear mind, they lose their power. They no longer halt your progress. They no longer have a strangle over your day or your life. You simply choose the best way to move forward and move on. Most people don't start their days like this. Most people aren't happy. Don't be most people. Be the minority. The minority who start their day with positive expectations. Look at yourself in the mirror and repeat to yourself, today is going to be a great day. No matter what happens, today I will see the good. No matter what happens, I will do the right thing. No matter what happens, I will give my all today. Today I will give my best, so tomorrow will be better. To lock me in bed is torture. People that can spend days and days and days in bed, I marvel at them. I look up under the sheets. What do you have in there to keep you in there that long? Say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is help someone else. Why is it selfish? Because the gratification, the goodness that comes to you, the good feeling from helping others, nothing's better than that. And I ask you, what do you want? Because the days you don't feel like getting up, out to bed, the days you feel like quitting, giving up and giving in. Listen to me, the only thing that's gonna get you up out that bed the only thing that's gonna make you strive past that obstacle, get past that brick wall, the only thing that's going to make you get up and do what you're supposed to do is what you see. When you wake up in the morning, look at your goals, your goals gonna tell you what time to get up. Are you hearing me? Don't be afraid of missing out. Be afraid of being in the exact same place as you are now, one year from today, five years from today, 10 years from today. Struggling to pay the bills, struggling for energy, struggling to find that passion in your life. Visualize what you are going to do today to get more out of your life. Do it every day. And every day, you will love the life you have created for yourself. You know, you know when you are guilty of wasting time and laying in bed and you're being lazy. You know it. Whether that was seven, seven o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning, you know it. You have to start the cycle of waking up early by waking up early. Success is not convenient. You have to do what is required to accommodate success. Holding the line maintaining the standard giving no slack none that's the discipline there are opportunities that are going to come your way and there might be some other things going on and you have to make a choice you have to ask yourself the question what do you want because if you don't know what you want nothing else matters 
how I'm about to use my time. Is it positive? Is it purposeful? Is it leading in the direction of where I'm going and the meaning of my life? Is it productive? And is it profitable? But when you know what you want, E, why do you wake up at three? Because I know what I want. One thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it, it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you, you actually do things, you, 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 you have more success. I wake up, boom, and I go pursue it. And if you're going to really be successful in life, if you're going to have it, if you're going to be it, you're going to do it, I need you to take personal responsibility. And I want you to say, the reason I'm not as amazing yet, because I hit the snooze button. That's why I'm not amazing right now. A big part of success is just not being lazy and just doing it. Yeah. Just get, that's like 90% of it is just showing up. The reason why I'm not amazing right now is because I couldn't get up early enough because I told myself I'm not an early person. Get there and start working. Like, you're not gonna feel perfect every day. If I felt, if I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat. I'm not, I'm not amazing because I would prefer to make excuses than make adjustments. That's why I'm not amazing. Because there's a lot of days I don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that if, that actually gets good at something. I want you to do me a huge favor. I want you to stop talking about this person didn't do that, that person didn't do this, this thing got it had at, I didn't grow up here, I didn't get this advantage, I didn't get kill it, kill it. You, you get, there's gotta be those days you push through. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why haven't you reached amazing yet? Just keep it 100. I'm not amazing because I'm lazy. Just be one, just, just look at yourself in the face and be honest. I'm not amazing because I'd rather spend my money on shoes, I'd rather spend my money on stuff than to make a sacrifice in a book or to fly and go to, I'm not amazing because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing to be amazing. And getting up early is not only an incredible competitive advantage because most of your competitors are asleep, but getting up early is a great gift to give yourself. You get more life. I always tell my, I always say that I'm like the most lazy, disciplined person I know because I don't want to do it, Yeah, but I always do. Do you want to be an artist? Do you want to be an engineer? I don't know, but I want you to start the year off. We're not talking about you know fake dreaming and just writing goals down to be doing it. I'm talking about knowing what you want because when you know what you want, that's where the drive comes from. That's where the passion comes from. When the thing is done, when the discipline has been implemented, Remember what that feels like, and then remember that those minutes and those hours, they turn into weeks and months and years, and holding the line in those critical minutes will put you in an infinitely better place, physically and mentally, if you maintain the discipline. I, if I don't have my morning routine game, I, I feel you know out of sorts. Um, so I think it's true for everybody. You gotta own your morning, you gotta win it because that starts and sets up everything else. People need that discipline, those routines that will help the rest of the day go better. Get some momentum and be okay if that momentum is really small because it will build. Trust that that momentum builds and trust that those gloomy and bad, dark days, trust that those are going to be there. Honor the difficulty. When we honor the struggle instead of hate the struggle, we can really achieve extraordinary things because our mindset's in the right place. Now the first night you're gonna have a hard time going to sleep. What you do is the next morning you wake up early anyways. That first night you only got five hours worth of sleep and now you're tired throughout the day, good. Because then when you get to bed that night you will turn off that computer and you'll be able to go to bed earlier like you wanted to. You can live on six hours sleep. So you have 18 hours, you have 18 hours. I wanna know what you're doing with your 18 hours because you can work here nine to five and that's nine and you can travel for an hour here and there, respect, nice little solid commute. Oh, you wanna be a family man? Mazel tov. You can spend two hours with your kids. What do you do with those other five hours? You're watching House of Cards. You're playing Madden. You're relaxing from the other intense 10. Gary, I already spent 11 hours. Well, great, then don't complain or want more. Respect that by 
getting rest and this and that, you were giving up opportunity to go into a new world. You want the audacity to have a 1% life. Let's, let's call it what it is. You want to live as well as the one to 2% in the world. It's not very complicated. The math is very raw. Like, you, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, then you have to pay your dues to get there. And you have to be lucky enough to figure out that you had talent in the thing that you actually want to do. Because you can work 24 hours a day, and if you stink at golf, or you're not a good content producer, or your logos look like that I would make, then you're gonna lose. So that's what you gotta do. The most important thing you can do is win the morning. Just win the morning, man. It is not easy. But it is worth it. Find out what you want to go and do and go after it. Because so many years go by and you look back and you're like, what have I actually done? And the whole time, because you haven't been living a life in line with your personal values, you've been living someone else's life. Don't freaking do that to yourself, it's insane. You wanna get to where you wanna be, only you. Not what someone else thinks, not what the magazines think, not what Instagram tells you. Stop comparing your life to other people. Stop living in the deadly world of comparison. You're comparing yourself to other people and you're putting yourself down, you're lowering your self-worth. You're enough. You've already got exactly what you need inside of you. All you need to do is develop yourself, start to step into your fears and allow these things to come out and you'll be firing. You'll be going straight for your goals, you'll be going straight for your dreams and then you'll be able to look back and go, I'm so glad that I was brave enough and I had the courage to step into my fears because there would be nothing worse than to get to an older age and look back on my life and know that I didn't go and do something because I was afraid, because I was afraid of other people's opinions. It doesn't matter what other people think. The only thing that matters is what you want. What are your personal values? What are your dreams? What impact can you have on the world? If you can line up your personal values, create a mission statement that can actually have an impact on the world, you'll be drawn into it. You don't need to motivate yourself. You don't need to copy other people's quotes and other people's sayings and post them up on Facebook and Instagram. You'll be coming up with your own quotes. You'll be coming up with your own sayings because you're pulled into it. You're living a life in line with your personal values and your mission statement is having an impact on the world. This is coming from within inside of you, not from someone else. It's the only way. The best person you'll ever be is yourself. That's it, no one else. You're you. It doesn't matter if you're strange. It doesn't matter if you're different. It doesn't matter if you don't fit in with other people. Be you. If people like you, if people love you for who you are, they'll hang out with you. Forget the cool kids. Forget trying to fit in with other people. Forget trying to do things that other people want you to do. If you start chasing after your dreams, make no mistake, there's going to be people around you, there's even going to be people close to you that's going to try and bring you down because it doesn't line up with what they want. Forget it. Go after what you want. It doesn't mean they're trying to sabotage your efforts for success. It just means they don't want to be left behind. It just means they don't want to be left alone. They don't want to be left on their level. Just because they don't have the courage to step inside their fears and see what's on the other side. This is where the growth is. You find out your fears, you step into them, you get on the other side and things continue to open up for you. Where I started was, I knew there was a few things standing in my way from where I was now to where I wanted to be in the future. So what I'd done, I wrote down my top three fears because my main fear was that I knew if I couldn't step into a fear that was a little bit smaller, then there was no way that I could build the courage and be brave enough to step into number one. So I created a methodical, systematic approach in order to start to step into my fears and it's identifying your top three fears. What's number one, what's number two, and what's number three? Number one being most scariest, number two, and then number three the least scariest. Now don't get me wrong, number three is going to be freaking scary. But once you put some things into place, once you start to step into that number three fear and you come out on the other side of it, you build the confidence. By default, your self-confidence and your self-worth goes up. 
You increase your self-worth, you increase your self-confidence by default. This is what automatically happens. Step into that number three fear, get on the other side of it, and bang, you'll be looking at number two. You step into number two, you get on the other side of that one, and now you've got the balls, you've got the courage to step into number one. And unless you do it in a methodical, systematic approach like this, it can be too difficult. Some people can do that, but some people can't. They need to start off with something easier, and that's what I needed to do. This system is what works for me, and I wanna share it with you, because I'm sure you're gonna get some benefit out of it. I'm not telling you that this is the only system, the only way to step into your fears, but this is what worked for me, and I wanna share it with you. If this is what appeals to you, then go for it. Sit down, write your top three fears, hit number three, hit number two, and hit number one. And there's so much on the other side of your fears, it's insane. If you think about it, imagine, this is where I am right now, and this is where I wanna be in the future. There's all these barriers in between, from here to my future. This is my end in mind, this is my ultimate goal, I wanna go from here to here. There's all these barriers, there's all these walls in between. And what are they? There are other people's opinions. There are other restrictions. They're your friends and family maybe that's stopping you or telling you to not actually go for your end in mind, to go for your end goal. This end in mind is the one that sits in the back of your head, the one that you daydream about. It's almost like you don't even need to identify it. You're just innately thinking about it constantly. What's that end in mind? It's gonna be blurry, but once you start to bust down these barriers, it becomes a little bit clearer it becomes like this vision starts to get real, starts to get tangible. It's almost like you can reach out and touch it. So what are those barriers in between from where you are now to where you wanna be in the future? What are these barriers? And I guarantee that those three fears, the top three fears that you wrote down, that's gonna be inside your gap, the gap from where you are now to where you wanna be in the future. So that's why it's so powerful. Identify these top three fears, three, two, one, and you'll be on your way. You'll be making progress. You'll build momentum towards that end in mind, towards that end in goal. Now look, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough, and it's gonna be freaking scary. But the longer and more often you push on these barriers, you push on these walls, the longer you push on those walls, it'll eventually fall over. Then you push on another one, you become stronger. You become mentally stronger. Just as if you were to push on a wall for a day after day, you're gonna become stronger and eventually that wall's gonna fall down. You're doing the same thing, you're just doing it mentally. Push on those walls, they'll eventually fall down and what you want to happen, you'll end up creating a domino effect. You'll just be pushing wall after wall after wall down and the next wall, even though it was bigger than the first one, because you're stronger, you'll be able to push it down even quicker. And sooner, rather than later, you're gonna build massive momentum, you're gonna build huge progress to get to this end in mind, to get to this goal, to close that gap from where you are now to where you wanna be in the future. Inside this gap, even though it's scary, this is where the growth is, right here. This is where the growth is. Identify your top three fears and you'll progress much, much quicker to your end in mind. This is what I call accelerated self-development. Nothing accelerates your growth quicker than stepping into your top three fears. Now, in regards to building a business, most people are so afraid to take this first step. It's like, oh, it's not gonna work out. What are my friends and family gonna think? What if I fail? What are they gonna think then? It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Because if your mission statement is there, if it's strong enough, if it's big enough and in line with your personal values and the impact that you wanna have on the world, then the opinions of other people don't matter. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Your mission statement is everything. It will guide you. Now through these hard times when you're building your business, when you've stepped into the shoes of an entrepreneur and you're grinding through it every day, you're doing what it takes. Some mornings you'll even watch the sun come up because you haven't even been asleep, you've worked through the whole night. It's happened to me many, many times. 
and it's not because I'm just trying to punch out the hours and brag about it, it just eventually happens. You just work through the night and it was just normal, it's weird. It's weird to hear that if you haven't heard it before, but it's probably gonna happen to you. If your mission is strong enough, that's the same that will happen to you. Now during these hard times, even if you feel like you're not making progress, even if you're not getting the financial return that you expected, even if that financial return is taking longer and longer, just remember, in the beginning, when you're grinding through the hours, when you're putting in all those all-nighters, that's where you're making your millions. You're not making it later on five years down the track when you finally close your first deal or the best one yet or whatever it is. It's now, it's in the beginning. It's those hours, it's that growth. It's that pushing those walls down, facing your fears, stepping into them, seeing what's on the other side. That's when your millions are made. And it relates to business. It relates to personal life. Identify those top three fears, number three, number two, and then number one. It's not just to face those three fears and that's it. Those three fears are the ones you continually step into and expand on them. You do something larger within that fear. Stepping into those fears and growing from it, seeing what's on the other side, it ends up transferring and leaking into other areas of your life. It's not just you do that and that's it. Once you're stepping into number three, number two, and number one, it's benefiting everything. Everything affects everything else, and you start to create these links, and these links to other areas of your life. These aha moments, the light bulb moments, and you're like, wow, because I stepped into that fear, now I've got the confidence to do this, whereas I wouldn't have done it before. You know, maybe I wouldn't have started this business. Maybe I wouldn't have even taken the next step to chase my dream if I hadn't have gone and stepped into these fears. Maybe I wouldn't take that first step to make the first investment. Maybe I wouldn't take that step to get up and speak about what I'm passionate about. All these things, you step into your fears, it leaks into other areas of your life. It's a catalyst for so much more. This is accelerated self-development. It enhances your whole life. It enhances your relationships, your personal life, business, career, your performance, your recovery, your sleep quality, your mental health. Man, when you step inside of your fears and you come out on the other side, it is the best thing ever. I grew up partying with alcohol and eventually throwing some drugs into the mix. Wow, amazing. Put some drugs into the mix and you have the best night ever, right? Man, the way that I feel on a daily basis now from what I've been doing, the life that I live, eating clean whole foods, balanced blood sugar levels, living a life in line with my personal values, having an optimum morning routine that I do each day, living an active lifestyle that's in line with my personal values in the environments, areas, disciplines and sports that I love to be in and around. And then continually to step into my fears, meditating on a consistent basis and having an impact on the world that's in line with those personal values, I wrap all this together the feelings that I have during the day, there's moments during every single day that it's better than any party, any drug that I've ever had in my life. And what's best yet, it's repeatable, it's reproducible, it's sustainable, and it gets better and better. Drugs, alcohol, and partying isn't sustainable. What I do now is. And not only that, it gets better and better. When you're using stimulants, it's not the same as when you first experienced it. The feelings drop off and eventually you have to go and take more and more of it. It's like coffee. The first cup of coffee, great. And then you end up having three or four cups a day and you never get back to that same feeling as the first one. But living the life that I live now, it's sustainable and it gets better and better. It's freaking amazing and I want to share it with you. I want to inspire you to identify your top three fears. Start to step into them and see what's on the other side because inside that gap, where you are now to where you want to be in the future that's where the growth is remember that that's where the fears are you've got no choice but to go through your fears you can't jump over them you can't walk around them you have to step into them if you do try and jump over and walk around them, that's when you're going to get to the point years down the track and looking back on your life and you're going to have that feeling of man, I can't believe I didn't do it because I was afraid, because I was afraid of other people's opinions and whatever else it was. There will be nothing worse than to have that feeling. What sort of life do you want to live? What are you passionate about? What are your personal values? Create a mission statement around that and how it can impact the world and you'll be pulled into going for that mission statement 
and having your impact on the world. You won't need to find outside motivation. Where's your motivation going to come from? It has to come from within. It has to come from your mission statement and the impact that you're going to have on the world. This is the best way to build a company, to build a business. What impact can you have that's in line with your personal values and your mission statement? And then you can profit financially from that. And then you can have a bigger impact. This is the future of building a company. It's not just about making money. The more money you make, the bigger the impact you're going to have. That's what you need to think about. Eat clean whole foods, balance your blood sugar levels and enhance things through supplements if need be. Identify your personal values, create a morning routine around that, get your active lifestyle that's in line with your personal values, meditate on a consistent basis, or do something that relaxes you or de-stresses you. Read a book, you don't have to sit there and meditate with your legs crossed, but do something that is a form of meditation that is a de-stressor. The silent meditation is what works for me. Then identify your top three fears, start to work through them, and once you've stepped into one, all you do is expand on that and step into it even more. The second one, once again, expand on it even more and step into it again. Number one, expand on it even more and step into it again. And now you've got this complete system, this beautiful life, that's your life, adapted to what you really want and where you're going, the way you see the world, chasing your end in mind. Now you're seeing what's possible for yourself. Now you're seeing what's possible in order to have an impact on the world. My name's Adam Phillips, I'm the founder of Life Grip, and my mission statement is improve mental health and prevent disease through nutrition, meditation and active lifestyles. I hope I've inspired you to do something similar, create your own mission statement, step into your fears and have an impact on the world.